Question 1 asks, an ideal gas is enclosed in a cylinder with a movable piston on top of it. The piston has a mass of 8,000 grams and an area of 5 square centimeters and is free to slide up and down, keeping the pressure of the gas constant. How much work is done on the gas as the temperature of 0.155 moles of the gas is raised from 30 degrees Celsius to 340 degrees Celsius? Okay, so it's one of the work done on ideal gas. And so the work done is equal to the area, if we draw a, a graph of pressure and volume, and uh, the, so if the pressure remains constant and the volume changes, it goes from here to here, then the work done, the work done is always equal to the area underneath the PV curve. And so uh, the PV curve would be basically a, a box when pressure remains constant. So the work is equal to the pressure times the change of volume because the volume is the only thing that it's going, the volume is starting here and going to here. If the pressure were not constant, it, it would still be the area under the curve. So if the pressure were to decline constantly or if it were to incline constantly, re regardless of what that would be, whatever the pressure is doing, the area is always going to be the area the, the work is always going to be the area under the PV curve. And so in the special case of um, isobaric uh, situations, meaning the pressure is constant, the work is equal to the pressure times the change of volume. And so what we have to figure out, we, we, have, uh, we need to figure out what the pressure is, and we need to figure out what the change of volume is. And so the pressure is pretty straightforward. The pressure, um, first we, is, the pressure is force divided by area. And now let's make that a capital A. And so the force, the force is equal to the, the mass times the gravity. And so it tells us the mass and we know what gravity is. So we can solve for force, the area it gives us. And so we can solve for, for area. And we want, it in, uh, we want it in unit of pascals. And so pascals are, are kilograms over uh, meters squared. And so let's, let's solve for the force really quick. So the, it says that we have 8,000 grams. That's going to be equal to 8 kilograms and times that by 9.8. And that's going to give us 78.4 um, 78 newtons, or it could be uh, um, gr uh, kilograms per meter per second squared, or kilograms times meters per second squared, rather. And then it gives us the area in square centimeters. And so it says it's, it's 5 square centimeters. And so um, if it weren't squared, let's uh, suppose it, it was just uh, we had one unit, 5 centimeters. We could divide this by 100, and we would get the, uh, the distance. And so it would, be, um, it would move the decimal place over 2. But since this is squared, we got to, however many times we move the decimal place over, for, for a unit of 1, we have to multiply that by our exponent. So we have to move the decimal place over 2 times 2. So we have to move it over 4 places, 0 0.005. Uh, and that's meters squared. And so if you plug in your both of these uh, numbers, 78.4 um, is our force, and, uh, and 0 0.005 is our, is our, is our area. Now that I'm actually looking at this, I'm, I'm realizing I gave this to you wrong. This uh, second squared times meters, kilograms per second squared times meters, which is, is equal to newtons over, um, newtons over meters squared. Anyhow, so you plug those, those numbers in, and you should get a pressure of, uh, of 15, 15, uh, 6, 8, 0, 0. So 156,800 pascals is our pressure. Now we've got to find our volume. And really what the volume is doesn't matter, but the change of volume is what matters. And so we can use the ideal gas law. And so P, the pressure times the change of volume, whenever pressure is constant, is going to equal the mass, because the, the, the moles, the moles can't change. The gas law can't change, but the temperature can. And so the change of volume is going to be equal to uh, the moles times the gas law constant 
times the change of temperature divided by the constant pressure. So at this point we just plug in our numbers so the, the change of volume is going to be equal to uh, the moles was 0 0.155 uh, the gas law constant whenever you're in units of pascals uh, you want to use 8.314 and if you want to extend that out 8.314 um, the change in temperature was uh, 340 minus 30 is 310 so 310 and that's degrees celsius but it doesn't it honestly doesn't matter because the change of temperature in Celsius is equal to the change of temperature in Kelvin. And so we're going to be able to switch back and forth in between units without causing any problems. And so divide all of this by the pressure, and we calculated the pressure as uh, 156,800 pascals. And so you should have got that the volume just barely changed. It was zero... 0 0.002548 um, cubic meters. And so all you have to do now is take the pressure, or the, the work done on the gas is equal to the negative pressure times delta V. So you just take in your pressure of uh, uh, 156,800, multiply that by the 0 0.02548 cubic meters and you should get that the work done the work and you take the negative of that that you should get that the work done is negative 399.5 and, uh, and that's joules so the other thing that you may notice here is we took the the negative P Delta V well we have P Delta V expressed right here and so one thing you could have done and you wouldn't have had to calculate the pressure, you wouldn't have had to have calculated any the volume. You could have just taken the moles times the gas law constant times the change of temperature and took the negative of that num of that term and you would have gotten that as well. So those are two ways to solve that problem. And so for part B it says what does the sign of your answer indicate? So we actually have um, you can see we have a negative sign in our answer. So what does that indicate? Well, the work is equal to the negative, the work done on the gas is equal to the negative of, of the pressure times the change in volume. So anytime there's a positive change of volume, the work done on the gas is going to be negative. And so if we go uh, look at our, at, our, um, at our piston again, we'll draw it right here we look at our piston again it's pushed down a little bit if it moves from from here to to right here if it moves down this way that means there's work done on the gas and so if if it moves if the change in volume is negative then this term becomes positive if how so if however it moves this way, the change in volume is positive. That means work is done on the environment. So the negative of, of the pressure times the change in volume is going to be a negative work done on the gas, meaning a positive work done on the environment. And one last thing I want to state, um, like I said, uh, this could have worked in this case. However, this will not work in every case if the pressure doesn't remain constant using this as your term will not end up working and in those situations you have to go back to the PV diagrams